Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in this episode we are back with another episode of Beyond ATC. We're going to be doing a short flight in the TBM 850 from Tucson over to Phoenix. Nothing crazy, just a chance to check out the latest version. It updated again today and I just figured I'd bring you guys along and I love that I'm able to bounce around between things like the TBM and the airliners. Uh, that part is really awesome. You can do just about any call sign you want. So we're going to see if we can't get a little creative with ours today and just call it overkill. So we'll see what happens. If you are interested in acquiring any of my overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, guys, so before we get started, one of the things that I was talking about with the BMI tracker earlier was that I bounce it from uh, station to station, and I just happened to be doing that tonight. Uh, earlier, I had it over on my desk. Now I have it on in the uh, cockpit, in the sim pit, and so I figured I'd show you guys how quickly I set it up because it seems to, seems to be a lot of questions that keep getting asked about that. So I figured I'd just show you real quick. So here we go. First, I'm just going to launch it. There's the pad. Oh, you guys can't see all that. Hold on. Make sure you guys can see that, otherwise it defeats the purpose. That'll be off screen a little bit, but let me see. Alright, you guys will get the gist from here. It should pop up in the center. We go to manage, boom, there it is. Alright, I'm just going to walk through with you guys. So, here's my two... I don't know why those are showing as offset. They're not, but what the hell. I tell it where it's at, okay? Uh, it's got not quite 20 degrees, but yeah, it's got a little bit of a down angle. And I'm going to hit save. Okay, and it's already come on. And then what I'll probably do is go to general. Go to calibrate just to make sure I have it. So you guys aren't going to be able to see. I don't think all the points will appear in OBS because of the way I have the monitor stretched. So, But I'm staring at the middle one. I'm staring at the top left. Top right. Bottom right, bottom left, done. That's it. That's it. That's all I do. And then I'm going to go and open open track. Here it is. And so I actually do need to create a new one. So I'm going to do a new create new empty config. And I'm just going to call this the sim pit. Whoa, holy caps. Okay. Change the eye tracker, eyewear beam, hit start. And you know what? I have run this before. Hang on. I'm going to close the beam tracker. This has happened to me before. So I'm just going to quit beam tracker. I'm going to relaunch the beam tracker. Oh, I forgot about game extension. My bad. That would be why. So again, here's where the guide is I told you guys. Setup guide right here. Click this. If you're doing this for the first time, click on this and use it. You click on it. Takes you to this page here. You walk through the steps. Like I said, there's like, okay, ten, eight, nine steps. I think I said five. Okay. But walk through it. It's really not bad at all. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm going to hit start. And there you go. That's it. That is it. So I have my head tracking. Now the only thing that I'm going to do is I go to options and output. And for example, um, the roll, I'm definitely going to disable because it makes it weird. So there we go. The Z, X, and Y axis, I'll probably leave on for today's video. But like when I'm doing American Truck Simulator, X and Z, I usually disable. And sometimes all three of these, just because I, I don't want it to change. I don't want to change my mirror position is really all that is. But then last thing I'll do is go to shortcuts. I haven't bound my throttle to this uh, profile. So to center it, like that center button, 
to toggle it. Bump that one. Boom. And now if I want to toggle it, there it is. It's turned off. Turn it back on. There we go. Center it. And it works perfect. Okay. And let's see. So after demonstrating everything to you guys, that is four minutes. Okay. So anyway, people were asking about it earlier. I wanted to show you guys. So there it is. Now let's get rid of the flight. All right. So now that we're all squared away with that, I want to give you guys a heads up. So first off, as we are flying the TBM 850, if you guys are not familiar with it, um, I do recommend um, joining Patreon, supporting me, helping me out. $10 or more a month gives you access to all of my 11 full flight tutorial guides that go cold and dark at your departure to cold and dark at destination with all flight plan imagery, screenshots, everything that you absolutely need is contained in those guides to get you up and running. Now, the reason why I mention that is because of today's flight, I'm not going to be using that. It's Saturday evening. I just want to chill. I'm having a good time. I want to try out the newest version of Beyond ATC. Figured I'd bring you guys along and we're taking the TBM 850 out and we're just going to go over to Phoenix. It's a real short flight, guys. Nothing fancy. So if I skip some procedures or processes in the tbm 850 it's because today i'm just chilling and having a good time we've already got uh com one turned on here as well as the uh generator um turned on set to main uh so that way we could get our uh atis so let's go ahead and take a look at that And I might actually. Have the wrong one. One, two, three point eight is ATIS. Oops, my bad, my bad, my bad. So let me bring that back down. There we go. In effect for Tucson. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Tucson Airport information, Charlie. 025 Tree Zulu. Wind tree 10 at 5. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 1 tree. Dew point minus 08. Altimeter tree 01 tree. Landing and departing runway 12. Temporary flight restrictions are in effect for Tucson. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Tucson Airport Information, Charlie. All right, clearance. One two six point six five. Did I get that right? I did. Okay. Tucson clearance overkill at Executive Parking with Charlie. Looking for IFR clearance to Phoenix. Oscar, Victor, Echo, Romeo, Kilo, India, Lima, Lima, Tucson, clearance. Thanks for Charlie. Cleared to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Burrow 5 departure. Hot transition. Then is filed. Climb via SID except maintain 7,000. Departure frequency 125. 1. Squawk 6 tree 2 tree. Clear to Phoenix Sky Harbor via the Burrow 5 departure. Hot transition. Then is filed. Climb via the SID except maintain 7,000. Departure frequency 125.1, squawk 6323 for overkill. Oscar Victor, Echo Romeo, Kilo, India, Lima, Lima, read back correct. Contact <laughs> ground 120.02 when ready for pushback or engine start. Ground on 12002 when ready for engine start for overkill. Bam, baby. So it makes perfect sense that it's always responding in the phonetic because that's how any tail registration would be. But the fact that I'm able to say overkill, I think is cooler than crap. I don't know why, but it made me super happy. All right, let's get our bird uh, just about ready to go here. Um, so first thing that I want to do is get our flight planning, get that taken care of, and then we'll move on. Whoa, if I can get, jeez, just pick a screen, Mike. All right, so now let's just enter in our flight plan real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, double clicked it. So we're going from KTUS to KPHX. Then we're going to go menu and we're going to select departure. 
and we are using the Burrow 5 from Runway 1 2 uh, with the B ball transition. No, hot transition. There's the hot transition. Hit enter. All right. And then we're going to go to proce procedures again. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. I always do this. I'm going to screw myself up if I do it again. We're going to go menu. Um, oh, wait. Procedures first, then menu. No, it's not menu. Damn it. See, this is what pisses me off. This is where I always get freaking confused. Is it down here more? Wait, so it's select arrival. Hang on, I know this. Select arrival, then menu, select destination airport. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, it always screws me up with this. There we go. God, it's got us going so far out. There we go. That's better. TUS to hot, baby. Yep, Phoenix. Okay. All right. Good. I'm good with that. Uh, go ahead and hit enters. The enters button. Let's go to our flight plan for a second. Let me see what we got going on. So the burrow is going to take us off a little bit. Then we're going out to Ryan. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of an interesting flight, but it won't be too bad. I just don't feel like going back into sim brief to change it all. I really don't. So we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. It'll be a little bit longer flight. You guys have to deal with me a little bit longer. All right, let's get started on our aircraft here. All right, let's get the aircraft started up. I'm going to go ahead and center our screen here. There we go. Oh, wrong button. And again, I'm just looking to have fun here, guys. So I'm not going to follow every little thing by the procedure today. Today, we're just going to have some fun. All right, let's make sure our prop set to full. Throttles are at idle. Condition lever is at cutoff. Parking brake is set. Clear master cautions, master warnings. Fuel has been verified. Let's go ahead and turn fuel to automatic. Fuel boost pumps go to on. There we go. Clear the master warning. All right. Check, check, check. We're just looking for things that are necessary for our engine start. T internal temperature is totally fine. We don't have to worry about rushing to AC. And ignition. Let's go ahead and set ignition to on. I like to have it on for engine start. Nav and strobe lights for indications. Again, clearing master caution. Make sure I didn't miss anything else that is crucial to the engine start. It does not look like it. Let's rock and roll. Turn the air pressurization on too. And G at thirteen percent. Can't matter if I pressurize that or not. Oh, and you know what? Let's get off of that and go back to that. There we go. Should make things a little bit smoother for you guys to see. All right. Starter off. Can there we go. Check, check, check. Flaps retracted. Flaps indicating retracted. Let's get in. I didn't even think about that damn transponder. Oh, I never requested the engine start. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Got ahead of myself. I didn't think to request the start, but we'll switch over to ground and do it anyway, so you guys can hear it. Uh, 6323. There we go. All right, so let me, might as well finish up the process here. All right, let's turn our gyros on. F is on. Initial separator on. Lights check. We won't need to worry about de-icing today, so I'm not too worried about going through all the tests. Nice part about living in the desert, at least at this time of year. 
Pressurization. We're going to set cabin pressure. If I can find my button. <laughs> Where are you? There it is. Oh, that's altimeter. We're going to 16,000 plus 500. There we go. Oh, wait, no, we're going to 21,000, aren't we? Plus 500, there we go. Pressurization set. Altimeter is... Hang on, I wrote it down. I'm trying to get in the habit of writing things down. Uh, 3003, is that right? 3013, damn, I wrote it down wrong. That sucks. Oh, well. All right, our initial climb altitude. Like I said, we're making this fast today. I'm not going through everything and worrying about everything today. Just want to have some fun. But we know our initial climb altitude is 7,000. All right, so let's make sure we got all the crucials going. So initial separator set, parking brake set, landing gears verified down, engines are running, fuel selector set to automatic, propellers at full. Uh, flaps will set to take off once we get closer to the runway. I don't usually taxi with them down. Pressurization system is set. Bleed system is set. Fuel selectors again at auto. Auxiliary boost pumps need to go to auto. There we go. Auto boost pump light extinguished. Oxygen light extinguished. Parking brake light. It makes sense. Initial separator should be on. Pedo install heaters will be turned on after uh, once we're ready for takeoff. Weather radar to standby. And let's come up top. Taxi light on. Startup complete. For today's necessities anyway, right? And we'll center the heading bug and all that good jazz once we get up and running. Uh, let's see here. We can even run an autopilot test. Run the autopilot test and we'll do a terrain warning test as well. Just because they're fun. I think the autopilot test has to be completed for that. All right, well, that's going on. Let's dig up the ground frequency again. That was 120.02. Okay. Ground, overkill, ready for engine start. Oscar Victor, Echo Romeo, Kilo, India, Lima, Lima. Startup approved. Call when ready for taxi. See? So you can just request engine start too. Startup approved. Call when ready for taxi. Overkill. That is so cool that I get to just say my damn name. I love it. All right. Um, was there anything else that I was waiting for? Oh, we were going to do the train. Oh, it looks like it already did. Okay. That is it, folks. Let's get out of here. Um, ground overkill. Ready for taxi. Oscar, Victor, Echo, Romeo, Kilo, India, Liama, Lima. Runway 12 taxi via Alpha. Taxi runway 12 via Alpha for overkill. Plow right through that ground cart. And your head. I didn't even know that was... She was... He, he, he or she was there. I didn't even know they were there. I'm trying to get my camera where I want it. Damn it. Easy, Mike. Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself! Do, do, do. Hand me off the tower any second now. Meantime, pedo heaters on. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Liama Lima. Contact Tucson Tower one one eight point three. 
Contact tower for overkill. Thank you. Negative tower on 118.3. Ah, uh, verify frequency? I didn't remember that. Contact tower 118.3 for overkill. Told you guys I'm just screwing around. Tower, overkill, ready for takeoff. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima Tucson Tower Wind Tree 10 at 5 runway 12 cleared for takeoff. Oops. Cleared for takeoff runway 12 for overkill. Okay. Transponder to altitude. I want to set my vertical speed. Actually, I probably won't. We'll probably just climb out with indicated. That's fine. Yeah, let's climb out with indicated. We won't worry about vertical speed today. All righty. There we go. Let's go. Looking for 100% torque. Speed alive, take off power set. Ninety five knots, rotate. I didn't set my runway heading. Do da, do da. Gear coming up. One hundred twenty knots, flaps up. Yaw damper on. Heading mode, autopilot. Come on. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima contact Tucson departure. Contact Tucson departure for overkill. Tucson departure overkill at 4,000. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima Tucson departure radar contact climb and maintain 10,000. Climb and maintain 10,000 for overkill. Aircraft is pressurizing. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima contact Albuquerque Center 133.0. Contact Albuquerque Center, 133.0 for overkill. Albuquerque Center, overkill at 8,000 with you. Oscar Victor, Echo Romeo Kilo, India, Lima, Lima, Albuquerque Center, climb and maintain flight level 210. Climb and maintain flight level 210, overkill, thank you. I'm going to try to request a different direct and see what it does. Oops. Let's see if we can go direct hot. Center, request direct hot. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima. Due to ongoing work on traffic injection, direct to fix has been disabled. Unable direct at this time. Nicely done, Captain Team. Nicely done. So, it's an option. What it just told me is, dude. Oh. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Liama Liama, you're off course. Clear direct Ryan. Resume on navigation. I don't want to go direct to Ryan. I think it turned. Roger. I think it turned. Clear to direct Ryan. Resume on navigation. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima. I think I screwed things up there. That's okay. 
What are you mad about? What are you mad about? Cabin pressure? Why is cabin pressure a problem? Stop it. Oh, we weren't quite where I thought it was, were we? I got you now. Let's kick that to high, shall we? Okay, we're going to request a scent now. Center, overkill, request ascent. Oscar Victor, Echo Romeo, Kilo, India, Lima, Lima. Descend via Ping 1 arrival, Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport landing, runway 26, altimeter 3008. Descend via the Ping 1, uh, altimeter 3008 for a runway 26 for overkill. Indeed. So the cool thing about that is the ping one is not what we had. Our what ours was the sun's eight. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Liema Liema. Descend via Ping One Arrival, Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport Landing, runway two six, altimeter three zero zero eight. Descend via the Ping 1 arrival to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, landing runway 26, altimeter 3008 for overkill. There, it liked that one. Alright, let's get her down. We'll go ahead and set the altimeter now, we're close enough. 3008. 2865. Contact Phoenix Approach 12865 for overkill. Phoenix Approach, overkill at 13,000. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima verify information Yankee. Overkill has information Yankee. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima Phoenix Approach Altimeter 3008. Expect radar vectors for ILS runway 26. Altimeter 3008. Expect ILS for vector or vectors for ILS runway 26 for overkill. Altimeter 4,000, cleared ILS runway 26. Cleared direct Jagal, cross Jagal at or above 4,000, ILS 26, cleared for, land, or cleared for the ILS 26 for overkill. God, get it out, idiot. I cannot believe they gave me that. Like, really? Yep, direct is already set. Alright, in which case I'm going to now... Switch the localizer. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Liema Liema contact Phoenix Tower 120.9er. Contact Phoenix Tower 120.9er for overkill. That's her airspeed. I'm going to start slowing her down. Phoenix Tower overkill at 4,000. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Liema Liema Phoenix Tower wind 24006 runway 26 cleared to land Cleared to land runway 26 for overkill Son of a All right got a beautiful descent rate Coming in fast that's kind of on purpose though I'm doing it intentionally I'll slow us down once we get a little closer Separator turn back on. Pulse lights off. Oh, 
I thought that showed off. I'm like, ow. Good. Flaps. Yep. All right. Crab it in a little bit, looks like. All right. Autopilot off. Yaw damper off. My airplane. day in Phoenix today, huh? Okay. Flaps up. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Liama Liama. Exit left at Bravo Niner. Exit left Bravo Niner for overkill. There she is. Alright, let's clear the runway. Lights off. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima. Contact ground one three two point five five. Take care. Contact ground one three two point five five for overkill. Thank you. Phoenix ground holding short. Bravo Niner at runway two six. Taxi to parking. Oscar Victor Echo Romeo Kilo India Lima Lima. Welcome to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Ramp parking 65 taxi via Bravo 8, Charlie 8, Sierra Charlie Papa. Taxi to taxi to ramp parking via parking 65 taxi via Bravo 8, Charlie 8, Sierra Charlie Papa for overkill. All right. And that is the end of our taxi communications with ATC. So as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Am I where I'm supposed to be? Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope you guys had a lot of fun with it. Um, it was actually really cool sort of tripping it out for a minute. And you guys can see that even if you break rules, if you lose your navigation, this was a really cool one because it's the first time I think I've done it where I unintentionally, I will say unintentionally, Broke navigation, was told to resume my own navigation, and then when I requested the descent, it maintained and knew that I still wanted to land at Phoenix. Gave me the descent, gave me a new star, and uh, vectored me uh, uh, down to where we needed to be. Well, not vectored me. We didn't get vector state, but it turned me on to the final approach fix. Anyways, as always, guys, stay safe and healthy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.